to our uh, special Inside Edge segment on uh, Halftime Report. Surbhi is here. She's focusing on Sirma SGS, Q1 numbers and the acquisition that the company announced as well. The company, remember, recorded a strong revenue growth while the gross profit margins were under pressure. It was down around 600 basis points. Surbhi, tell us more. Thanks so much for that. So gross profit margins were under pressure and that has led to, you know, a decline in EBITDA margin as well. So let me uh, run you through the numbers first. The revenues was up 54%, came in at around 601 crores. The gross profit margin was down 600 basis points. EBITDA margin was down 250 basis points. But the PAT was up 66% at 28 crores. Now that was aided by uh, um, higher other income and also forex gains. Now the company did uh, tell us that the gross margin compression was a one-off and it should normalize in the second half of the year and also there was uh, a problem in their healthcare uh, segment which had led which has led to EBITDA margin compression as well additionally now the company has acquired 51 percent stake in Johari digital healthcare limited for 230 uh, crores they might pay an additional concentration of up to 28 crores if they achieve the predetermined milestones with uh, the company now Johari is a design focused manufacturer of ele um, electro medical devices they have a revenue of 163 crores in fy23 which has grown at a rate of 80 percent for the last two years management expects that you know this acquisition will be margin accretive from the first year itself and it will contribute nearly four to five percent uh, of their revenues for fy24 all right thanks a lot for that well earlier in the day we did speak to js gujral the md at Sirma SGS, so listen in uh, to what he had to say. Q1 typically year on year is a low quarter. It typically accounts for approximately around 20% of the total revenues and the Q4 accounts for about 30%. So that uh, secular trend over the years is there. So hence you see a deacceleration in the growth, top line growth vis-a-vis -vis Q4, but then uh, that's been the trend all in the past also. Jory Digital technical competence to give a winning combination. We believe that in the current year, uh, it should add approximately anything between 170 to 200 crores or 180 crores, 190 crores in our top line. And as you said, about 70 crores, 65, 70 crores to EBITDA. It's a very high EBITDA margin business, which is more than 30%. So if the industry grows at 35 if industry grows at 35, I'll grow at 35 plus. If industry grows at 40, I'll grow at 40 plus. Okay, so that's the management, but let's go back to Surbish.